Alright guys, so this is a project that I've been farming for the past few days, which is Fluidity Money. This is a project that what they're trying to build is fluid tokens. So for example, you would be staking your USDC and they will take that USDC and stake it into something like Aave or maybe Compound so it can generate some yield. And once you start using the FUSDC, which is the fluid tokens, then you're going to be getting some funds out of that reward pool because the USDC is earning some yield. So basically, you're using the liquid staking version of the USDC to, to take some transaction, to stake or to do whatever you like on chain. And at the same time, you're going to be earning some funds. It is not a crazy amount, but the main goal here is for us to receive the airdrop from this project. This is extremely under farm, extremely under farm. If we check some of the stats, currently the TVL is at $462,000, but the amount of users that have been participating in the airdrop event is just 2,000. So again, super, super small. Also, they have a lot of backers like Multicoin Capital, Circle, Solana Ventures. They have also some angel investors like Zach XBT. And by the way, this is confirmed because I already checked with him and he said yes. So at least we know that all of these investors are actually real and it is not a fakey. Also, by using fluidity or by farming it, we can also use Jumper to add some volume. So basically, we're farming two projects in one since Jumper is also tokenless. So let me show you guys the process. Number one, you're going to need some USDC on Arbitrum. So you're going to go to Fluidify Money. Once you click here, you're going to click on USDC and then create fluid asset it doesn't really matter the amount that you're using but obviously the higher the amount it will be easier for you to add as much volume as possible once you're done just click on create fluid asset at the amount you can actually increase that if you don't want to approve every single time but obviously make sure that you're not adding a crazy amount so i would do something like a thousand dollars because i know that i'm going to be using it maybe five times but don't approve it to infinity once we're done, let's go ahead and confirm. And now I should have my FUSDC. So there you go. So now I can go back to Jumper, show you guys the process. So now I have this. I can even choose one inch or even all those, by the way, which is tokenless also. So by choosing all those, I'm basically farming three projects in one. So let's go ahead and start swapping by using all those. Approve. Preparing transaction so we can go ahead and confirm. And there you go. So now we basically farm three projects in one, not just two, but three fluid, fluidity, also jumper. And if we're choosing the route for all those, we're also adding some volume towards all those. If we go back now, we can go ahead and confirm our transactions on airdrop and you're going to be receiving some bottles. So every single time that you take it, as you can see, it actually increase from 52 to 62 every single time that you take a transaction depending on the amount that you're using you'll be getting some loot bottles those bottles they will come with some fluid tokens which the tokenomics is 1 billion tokens in the airdrop is around 20 percent for the community i don't know if at tge it would be the whole 20 percent, but at least we know it is around 20 percent. so that means around 200 million tokens for the community and again just based on the amount of backers that they have the project works pretty good as you can see i i haven't had any issues with it and right now any type of projects guys is opening above 25 million dollars like nothing so even opening at 25 million dollars 20 million dollars 10 percent, 20 percent is anywhere between two million dollars for the community four million dollars maybe or even one million dollars is still good when you only have two thousand people participating and this is a confirmed airdrop as you can see there's only 13 days left and after this we will have the tge so there is no more event coming after this so pretty easy to use you guys can see also here they're mentioning the multiplier task so if you're using Jumper, Trader Joe, Camelot, or this other, which I don't remember the name, you're going to be receiving more points. But I am choosing Jumper since it is tokenless, so I can add volume towards both of them. You also have the option to stake some funds by using Trader Joe or Camelot. 
But to be honest, just because I only have $200 on this account, I'm not going to be staking it. I would rather just add volume back and forth so I can also farm Jumper and also farm all those, all of them at the same time. So that's the deal. Um, to be honest, there's no minimum. I don't think um, there is a minimum for you to receive the airdrop, but obviously, depending on the amount of bottles that you have, the higher will be your airdrop. So for me, I'm just going to be taking as much transactions as possible so I can, again, farm Jumper, farm all those, but at the same time, farm Fluidity. So let me know if you have any questions, any doubts so far. Thank you for watching, guys. Happy farming.